likely the way you're going to be able to factor the cubic. The red part has something in common. What, does, what do both red pieces have in them? A cosine of t. So I can factor that out of the red pieces. So when I factor it out of the first piece of, the, of this, we have 2 sine of t, cosine of t. What am I left with? 2 times the sine of t. When I factor it out of the second piece, what am I left with? Minus 1. And I still have this plus 2 sine of t minus 1 equals 0. Now, I now have what you can think of as two parts to my equation. I have this part that's in red and this part that's in blue. Do they have something in common? The 2 sine of t minus 1 is in both pieces, right? The red piece and the blue piece. So that means I can factor it out. Yes? You're going, uh, if you say so. So we'll factor it out. We'll have 2 sine of t minus 1. When I factor that out of the cosine of t times 2 sine of t minus 1, what am I left with? A cosine. So I'm left with cosine of t. When I factor it out of this part, 2 sine of t minus 1, what am I left with? 1. So then I have a cosine plus 1 equals 0. Now what do I have? Well, I have the green part multiplied times the multicolored part. And when I have two things that are multiplied together to be 0, the zero product principle says one of them or the other one must be 0. So that means I can set each piece equal to 0, and each piece individually is easier to solve. So this will give me 2 sine of t minus 1 equals 0, or cosine of t plus 1 equals 0. Well, we know how to solve this. We just start moving things over. I'll get 2 sine of t equals 1. So the sine of t equals 1 half. How many of you can tell me where the sine of t is equal to 1 half? 5 over 6? Quadrant 4, 11 pi over 6. 